And welcome back to some more of the new Girin's Ambition. With me, Polo Dash. Uh, we've come to turn 27. And in the previous turn of turn 26, we, uh, well, we conquered New York. Yay! You know, it's, it's good. But uh, the rest of what I did that turn, I uh, can't exactly say I remember. Because I don't. I sort of do. It's been a long time since turn 26. I, uh, yeah, after conquering New York, I took an extended break. You know, some R&R. &R. I figured I deserved some. Um, and, uh, yeah, like, I can't quite recollect uh, what direction I was heading toward uh, for this turn. I, I did, um kind of skim through some older videos for a refresher course, but uh, didn't really help much, I don't think. It just left me kind of confused, because as I was skimming through the video, it was just me saying stupid stuff or making mistakes. <laughs> it was just me face palming uh, as I was skimming through, skimming through the videos. Uh, but, you know, I... I, I I, I did see some movement of dots and stuff, and um, the direction I was sending my dude, so I guess I'll just kind of follow up on that. Um, like, for example, I was, uh, what was I doing? Like, here in space, I, uh, was, I was moving uh, out of Elgato toward Earth. So that uh, he can drop down and wreck stuff. Left uh, Johnny Ryden in charge of uh, being that uh, stopper in front of Luna 2. And he is so happy that he is rid of uh, Anna Gato and, um, and his kill stealing ways, as he claims. Johnny Ryden claims that Anna Gato is a kill stealer and he keeps uh, taking Johnny's glory. Um. So uh, yeah, we we just we'll just let uh, Johnny freely do what he wants to do out here, I guess for now. Um, then I think I was like trying to build like a logistic line with moosides and transport ships and whatnot between uh, Solomon and Earth to get guys that I'm producing out of Solomon uh, to Earth faster. That was the plan, but I doubt I'll be able to do it. I'll probably mess up the, the logistics somewhere as I try. I'll probably end up wasting turns instead of saving them, but I guess we'll give it a shot. Um, it looks like they, they spawned uh, more more space things out, out here. Another wave of guys that are going to try to get through our uh, blockade here. We'll see how hardcore they are if they brought even bigger ships. Uh, they keep, uh, they're currently uh, making waves of what, the Mazelan and uh, Salamis K class or whatever. And that's what these might be. Hope they're not, they're not anything bigger. Like some new class. Because we just sent uh, Hannibal Gato, our uh, ace in the squadron, that previous squadron, to Earth to make better use of his abilities. Uh, let me just let Johnny, Johnny left left uh, Johnny up here to squander. Uh, there you go. Well, Johnny's got a new tax now. He has to deal with these guys. With uh, Giren Zabi watching. So he's got you know, the pressures on him. Hope he doesn't break under that pressure. And on Earth, what the hell was I doing on Earth? I was like moving Gals and Zigax as fast as I can toward this way so that I can use him here in this campaign. Um, New York is still contested. We, we got the center, so we can use the production facility. Uh, we, we got, uh, yeah, we, we captured GM Strikers and Fisheye. That was exciting. And a, and a gun tank, too. Uh, we'll need to put some aces in them. Um, aces that are willing to ride captured suits. Uh, well, they don't really have a choice, but... I'll decide who gets to who will ride them, depending on like, I don't know I, I don't know I guess the, 
personality of the character. Like, those will probably wouldn't want to write a James Tracker, even though he'll be, like, super awesome in it. I think he'll look cooler in a friggin' gold-trimmed Zaku 2 with a giant axe. It's more Dozel's thing. The uh, guys from California base did not reinforce their buddies in New York. They just let them out there to die. <laughs> they instead pulled back to uh, the West Coast. I guess, I guess they're going to now uh, entrench themselves and prepare for uh, the... You know, the, or inevitable assault of their base. Uh, so we'll need to get through that. The, most of the defenders uh, consist of uh, air units, uh, if I remember right. Uh, and we did make a like a perimeter of, of Zaku 2 Cs uh, centered around. This is Chicago as a buffer between our now uh, you know. New York, which is now ours. Um, so we're gonna need to get some air dudes. We're gonna have to do some dogfighting up here over the deserts of North America. It's kind of cool. Um, I don't know what the hell this dot is. It's annoying. Jabro, they're friggin' mobilizing the hell out of uh, dudes from Jabro. Don't like that. And uh, this is Kilimanjaro, more dudes, we got Peking, Beijing, whatever. So Australia's quiet. I mean, we still have uh, the, the two territories that uh, Nimbus captured when he was there dodging bombs and catching them. Uh, what is this? I don't know what that is. Um, and but this, this is, this is the main thing. Um, they're continuing to apply pressure to our Odessa, like lodging dudes into into our lines skirmishing looking for openings so that they can begin another assault and um, we don't have a whole lot of defenders here we left the skeleton crew to defend Europe and North Africa to uh, focus on our campaign in North America but we're probably going to have to start thinking about uh, buffering our defenses. Uh, but we are dropping in Makuve to handle things, right? Uh, Lord Makuve is coming down to take over the de defensive operations. We're probably going to relieve Nguyen. Uh, the Nguyen is, is superior in rank to Makuve. I think Makuve can handle things better, <laughs> maybe. Well, he's going to be riding uh, his, his goof custom. Not the goof custom, but his goof custom, Mukuvi custom, to lead forces in this, against the Federation's attack. Um, so he'll be more in the field than Noyan. So Noyan will be commander of of the operations, but Mukuvi, I guess, will be the one that'll be handling the uh, the dirty work out here. It should be the opposite. Mukuvi will be the one that's sitting back in his air-conditioned office with, you know, what are them things? Nice things. <laughs> and uh, getting his subordinates to do stuff. But uh, we'll, we'll get Makuve to do stuff. We'll make Makuve cool in, in, in this version of Gundam. Um, we'll see if we can uh, do things with, without tactical nuclear warheads, you know. Unless that's like a thing in this game, don't, don't, don't spoil. <laughs> that'd be funny when the game goes. Makuve launched a nuclear device. Everybody hates us now, and I'll be like, ah, Makuve, I was trying to make you cool. Uh, anyway, I, let's 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 do stuff. It's ten minutes already. Um, I guess we have to. Oh, we only got eleven k this turn. Of money, yeah, we blew all, all our money last turn. I remember that. Uh, we uh, we used it to make our next line of grunt suits, uh, including uh, what Zaku two F twos. I think which was a really decent choice. They're going to be replacing the Zaku two Js. I was complaining that they didn't have a lot of hit points. The Js, so two F twos uh, would be a, would make a uh, good replacement, I thought. But then. 
I, uh, what else did I build? I, I decided to mass produce goof C's, were, were they? The ones with the twin finger Vulcans? No. To see, uh, if they function better in practice than just in stats, or if they, if the stats go beyond actual field performance, you know, they, they, they look horrible statistic-wise, but they have tons of armor, and uh, that's what we need to defend against this invasion from the east, courtesy of the Federation. Um, especially, I think, like, half of these dots are big trades. <laughs> Not good. Uh, so I think we're gonna need goofs. These, these goof lines to uh, handle this uh, messy situation. So I built goof C's. Uh, and we'll see how they uh, perform. And, uh. Okay, that's it. Uh, since I only have a whole. I don't have a whole lot of money, I think I'm gonna spend uh, a minimum amount in research this turn. As much as I wanna continue to pump uh, the funds into R&D to get cooler suits faster. I mean, we can barely keep up with building the things we uh, develop, so... I think it'll be alright to slow it down some for maybe this turn and maybe next turn. What do I have to build this turn? Oh, that's right, I got that, that Titanic class um, spaceship. The mothership. Which I feel like I don't need. Because, I mean, we have it in space. And we, we got it down in space. Johnny's got it. Uh, Garen's got it. Um, and the dudes defending uh, Earth space. Got it. I'm not sure if this thing will... Is necessary. But... It costs... It takes eight turns to develop. And eight turns from now, when the Federation start, like, I don't know, cranking out white bases, like mass producing white bases throughout space, I, you know, I might think, uh, you know, eight turns ago, I, I should have researched this. <laughs> now it's going to take me eight turns to counter white bases with my uh, equivalent, and I'm fucked. Game over. And I'll be back in Solomon. And, uh... Dozel dies in the big exam. And a Baoku. And Yurin dies. And Kazilia dies. And game over. That's like the worst case scenario. It's only 35k. 3500 to research. But what else did I wanted to research? Oh, there was the, uh, the submarine. We're finally getting access to submarines. Which might be a thing, considering how effective the, the Federation are use, uh, making use of their submarines. Uh, it might be time now for us to start making our own. Although, the problem with submarines is I, I, I guess they can, this will be able to hold dudes? It doesn't say so, but I, I want to assume that this thing is capable of holding units. Might not be. No, but what, weren't they holding units in uh, in the show? This was the, the thing that was used to detect Belfast, right? I was pretty sure. And they held Zigox and Gogs. But yeah, anyway, uh, transport units can't board other transport units. That means that uh, the only place I'll be able to deploy my submarines is out of New York. So in order to make... In order to get them to the Pacific, I have to like wrap around. There's the Panama Canal here. I'm not sure if that exists in this game, but even but I still won't be able to make use of it because of Jabiro. <laughs> my, my submarine will be like, do 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 let's use the Panama Canal. And, <laughs> and Jabroed. By like all, all this... This... These dots that the Federation are freaking conjuring up here. 
Um, so yeah, my submarines will only be uh, be useful use be used in the Atlantic. That's not useful. I, I mean, I have the Atlantic. And what if I build them from Odessa? I'd have to like in order to get them anywhere. Well, I mean, I guess they can cross the Suez, I and mean, that's why I'm holding it, right? And I can send them down here. Maybe I can uh, load it with uh, commando suits and send them off to Australia and wreck stuff. That'd be cool. Either way, I kind of want a submarine because we don't have any. You know, it's like a new uh, game mechanic that I have yet to explore. So just just for that, I might build them. Just see how they work out. See how they play. So much of submarines. These are three K. Four turns. Yeah, we'll build some. We'll build a submarine. Yes. What else? Uh, the mobile armor. It's another spacesuit. Uh, or space armor. <laughs> Thinking about giving this to Kelly Lesnar. Because, you know, he's a mobile armor dude. But again, same reasoning as the, the you know, the, the mothership. I mean, I don't need anything more powerful than what I already have in space. Because the Federation aren't really... Aren't really making anything that are that I consider too threatening. But producing this might unlock other stuff. That's the thing. Like uh, making stuff unlocks other stuff. So like not making this might be preventing me from getting like a uh, I don't know, like an Elmeth, for example. You know, Lala suit. Or, uh, like a... What was that thing? The, uh... The Xeong or something, right? Oh, and I also got the Tropical Dom. I'm getting all these, like, Dom variants. Even though I don't have... I have, I have yet to get a... Like, a regular Dom. So, like... Without being able to play around with a regular Dom, I don't exactly know if these Dom variants are worth it. Because I've yet to see how capable Doms are in this game. Though, like, in the comments, you, you guys are all raving about how the Dom is like the is like the, the knees bees, but, um... I, mean, I don't know. I, I might find it unsat or I might find it, uh, yeah, unsatisfactory because of some little stupid thing that, that will annoy you. <laughs> Uh, so I'm kind of hesitant on building all these variants without having the, like a prototype, something to play around with first. What am I, I'm building a Psycho Me stuff. Oh, that reminds me, uh, what Giren summoned Shalia Bull, right? I wonder if he's an ace now. Or I, I might need to build these first, we'll see. That's all, that's that's all for research. How much more until I get a dom? Holy crap! I felt like like three years ago I started production on the on the dom. Oh, this crazy thing! <laughs> I wonder how they work. Uh, MSO nine was it? Yeah. Another three turns. I'm getting I'm getting I'm getting e freeze before doms. Does that make sense? Is that is that logic? Goof custom. Wasn't wasn't there like another Dom prototype that I I had started building, or I, that I got access to now? Uh, marine type uh, prototype Dom. I do have one. Oh, I do have one. Cool. 170 points, 24. That's pretty dodgy. 7 move. Compare that to like a. Uh, what's it? Uh, 7 move by default is pretty decent. Yeah, they'll be able to keep up with the goofs and stuff. But the goofs are 8 move, upgraded. So I guess fully upgraded movement for the Dom will be like 9 move. 
where did where'd it go? Prototype done. Uh, they have good maneuverability everywhere. Even on mountains, that's amazing. And in forests. And in the desert. But yeah, their uh, freaking beam saber doesn't compare to like a GM striker, for example. What GM Strikers did like what fifty damage twice. These guys heat sabers only thirty five twice. The giant bazooka thirty times four. That's okay. Uh. Yeah, the giant bazookas outperform uh, Zaku bazookas by a lot. Zaku bazookas seem to have a higher rate of fire. But giant bazookas just deal more damage per shot. And they got 170 hit points. It's pretty solid. And they can get on the SFS, the subflight systems. But they're pretty expensive. They, they cost almost 2k yeah, resources to produce. Okay. Might build these in Odessa 2. Uh, they don't have very good anti-aircraft, anti-air capability. That sucks. I need more anti-air stuff. And again, these guys are shieldless, and shields are so worth it in this game. Mm. Okay. So I don't, I don't get it. Like these guys. They, they have improved... Well, I mean, in the description it says to enhance performance of hover units in hot climates. But, like, the prototype DOM has uh, max movement in deserts. So, like, what, what do these guys have to offer that's different? I guess... They consume less supplies? That's another thing it says about it. It's like, who cares? So whatever. We'll just hold up on them. We're not going to spend a whole lot on research this turn, like I said. Uh, oh, but I also got the Apsilus Project and the Peasant Project to fund that I need to start on. The Peasant Project costs 5k, but these will unlock, like, these will surely unlock suits, like uh, the, the, the Gigan and the like the Galbaldi and stuff. 5k. I need money for building stuff. I need to continue to produce suits. Napsal's projects will just make um, turn Guineas into lunatics, so I don't know if I want to do that. Uh, and that'll take Guineas. This will probably take Guineas away off the Etsim. I mean, he's, he's needed right now, so we'll wait on both of these. Kind of want to save money so I can do money shenanigans. So good. Oh, I can uh, distribute supplies to my citizenry, make them happy. How how happy are they? They're kind of happy. They're, they don't they don't need supplies. I want to improve this. Okay, um, anything else? Still at 7k. Uh, we need to build stuff. Got a whole bunch of units everywhere. Got 80 units in New York. Alright, I think it's what time we enter the world map. Cause 
because I want to see what I built last turn. I don't remember. So we got a whole bunch of these goosies. Uh, I can get a. Well, I do got Chelly and Bull. Cool. And he's a uh, like a first generation new type, or he's a uh, amateur new type or something. Uh, his stats look pretty decent, except for melee. I guess he's getting that funny spaceship once that's built. And right, Goosey's uh, 216 hit points. It's pretty awesome. Eight movement. That's good. It's got these puny hand machine guns. Mm, I got these goopies. For their shields. I got Goofs. Makube Goof. That I need to give Makube. It's only got six. Oh, did I forget to. Ah, oh, I forgot to upgrade this. Fuck. It's a waste. Why the hell did I, like, scrap it and then rebuild it then if I was gonna upgrade it? Dumb polar dash. You're stupid. Uh... Alright, so Makube's getting an. Getting an un upgraded, unpimped, custom Mukube goof. He's gonna be so mad. He's gonna be launching nukes. Where's Mukube? Mukube's here. And the, I'm gonna just give him the perfect. You know, but we're doing that later. I need to figure out what the fuck I built everywhere. Um, what I, did I? I didn't build things here. I got units here, but I didn't build stuff there because I got gym shakers. Right, so that's what I built in Odessa. And um, so wait, I didn't build any. So I just built a whole bunch of goof C's, but I didn't build any 2F2s here. Okay. So that means I might send 2F2s. I'll build them in Solomon. Yeah, I get the 2F2s here. They might be. They might be, uh. I might transport them. Oh, but I can't transport them directly to New York, but I could do it to this. Uh... But they'll be useful in New York, too. I think these guys were had poor maneuverability in mountains. Whoops. Yeah. So, I mean, I can still make use of them in New York, or in, in America. But not really, because America's filled with air units. Where there's any these guys against all the land units crossing the uh, crossing Eastern Europe. Did I build stuff? Did I build stuff now, Belco? Yes. <laughs> Two F twos. <laughs> right, so all the all these guys are going to Odessa then. Two F twos. A gog. I got a gog and a and the prototype dom. Prototype time Dom looks cool in this in this talking head picture. I like the the deep red and the black. It's cool. Gog. Oh, what's what can the Gog do? That's a, I, all the uh, all the all the yard in this game looks cool. <laughs> Wish the MGO developers played this game before deciding to texture. The mobile suits in 3D in that game because they all look so stupid. Uh, especially the Gundams. That's interesting. Uh, the Gogs Mega Particle Cannon has two range. They can't shoot point blank. And their torpedoes are one two range. And they got claws. It's like a weird. Mishmash of it doesn't have the, an effective range. It's like, well, it, it it can do two range, and it can do close combat, but it can't like make use of all weapons in one range. But the two range is useful, I guess, to use them as artillery units in the water, like. So Zugox in the front, they're gonna have Gogs behind them. Launching, uh, being able to uh, do a synchronized attack on a single single hex. 
with two hexes worth of units if I have, have like a support stack of gods behind the uh, the frontline units. But these guys have 50 damage cost. Man, all the, the uh, amphibious units have high damaging melee. It's, it's like the, their claws. <laughs> you figured the uh, handheld weapons would deal more damage than claws, you know, heat weapons. But I don't know. Um, so where did they launch three torpedoes? Because there's two. I think they have two uh, ports for torpedoes. Just like a bunch of third one for extra giggles. Uh, it's got tons of armor. 230 armor is freaking beast. And six move. Oh, but their movement is shit. Wow. It's like, it's like they can move on land, but, uh, but they tend to fall over. They tend to trip over stuff, like pebbles. So I don't like that. They're, that kind of makes them water units only. Cross land only if you need to. Okay. They probably can't launch their torpedoes on land either. And they got they only got ten maneuverability, which kinda sucks. Prototype done. I guess I'll send this to Odisseville. Along with the Gog, or should I scrap them? For resources? And then just rebuild them somewhere else. Um. No, you know what? I'm gonna send them. I'm gonna send them. I'm gonna send the Gaga somewhere too. Uh, we'll send the birthday down to Odessa. Three turns. Three turns from now, when I get Doms, I have a prototype Dom. In Odessa. Sure. Gog can go to. The Gog I might scrap because I kind of want. It's sending them to Odessa is pretty pointless. Uh, all they got to. All they got is what? The, the Mediterranean and whatever that, that sea is above it. to swim around in. And the guy probably won't function well without other amphibious support. Uh, and I can't send things to New York this, this turn because it's still contested. So we'll just grab the, the Gog. But at least we got to look at their stats. There we go. Okay. And then the Zaka 2F2s. We will send to Odessa. Yes. And the ones in Abawaku. These are also being sent to Odessa. Yes. Did I build anything in Granada? Or, yeah, this is Granada. Yeah, I did. Man, I built tons of stuff. There's like two of twos here, too. Uh, wait a minute. Um, why don't I send these things to Solomon? Unless it'll be faster to just send them from Granada manually. I doubt it. They have to go around this way. Pretty sure spending two turns to get them to, to Solomon and then ferrying them across to the third area is faster. Cause I, I kind of want to start getting a build up of uh, each of these filled with two F2s to react to, you know, to drop them to where I'm going to eventually need them sometime somewhere.
Maybe I should hold them. And there's only 10 units left in New York, so once I clean out guys out of New York, I can uh, fast travel units there too. So I might hold them this turn in Granada and wait for my guys in New York to mop up. And then I'll send them straight to New York. Technically, I'm already sending two stacks of 2F2s in Odessa. That's plenty. Yeah, alright, so that's. I think that's what I'm gonna do. But these guys and Solomon can start moseying out. Whoops, doing it wrong. No, doing it wrong. What was the select everything button? Is there a select everything button? No. Yeah. There we go. Start moving. Okay. So they were able to move what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Alright, so if I put... Holy crap! Did I seriously send the Gwazin class out here to transport? Did I really do that? Oh, that's right, I took Cassilia off to get her on that... Uh, to Zaccarello or whatever, but... Really? <laughs> no, whatever, okay. I guess that's just for this turn. Oh, what, what, do, they, what do they build out here? Uh, uh, ships of doom! God, I don't want the squads in class right now. Kinda do, I want them over here right now. Should've sent them this way. Last turn. Because I kind of want them over here right now. They're not over there right now because I decided to to commission my heavy cruiser here to transport duty. All right. Well, there you go. And then. Uh, You guys continue on forward. There you go. I think I'm doing that right. Probably not. Okay. Um, I guess that's it. Yes. But now I need to figure out what I want to build this turn. Like an Odessa. Um, oh, I can build Goof H's. Goof H's I might want to produce in New York to counter air units. Crap. Oh, the prototype dom you can only build one of. Oh, that means I, I should have just rebuilt it then. Damn it! These prototype units you can only build one of. Poop. Hmm. Goof H's. Goof H's, uh. Do I, am I in my build limit? Let's check. Nope, 286. Man, we're crippling them. They're not at 300 anymore, the Federation. They got six, they're fielding 61 mobile suits. I got 168. Makes me better. That makes our site superior. 40... Mechanized units, tank units, 98 air units, 23 space fighters, 
time. Placing my unit count where they count. Where they make a difference. 26 mobile armor, though. I guess those are the balls. Yeah, nine battleships. 12, 23. Yeah, they're putting a meaningless amount of resources into tank production. But maybe I, I guess I guess this counts for big trace too. <laughs> so maybe not. Uh, Alright, I, I think I'm building goof H's to flight types. Building Zaka to S's too. I haven't mass produced these yet. Um, what else I got? Oh, the gods. The gods. The gods I'm building in. Oh, wait. Why does I want to build goof H's in New York? So that gods too. Actually, gods might be more worth it to build in New York. Because uh, the Zigox are heading that way, that'll just be perfect. So now the Zigox will have uh, long range support in their uh, amphibious aquatic operations that they'll be uh, commencing in the uh, Pacific once we uh, start our advance toward California base. I'm gonna s probably send them around either on their Dodai or packed in fat uncles or ga or gals or whatever. Then the Gogs can drop down into the waters with them. Sounds cool. And yeah, well, I guess Goof Ages will be in Odessa. I think that makes historical sense too, right? Because they were kind of built around there. According to 8th MS team. Was that in the jungle? I don't remember, whatever. They weren't in New York. They weren't in North America. It's, 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 it's close enough. Oh, wait, let, me, let me just check on the thing. Oh, so I gotta put Cassillian there. I can't remember. Or I can't... I can't... Forget. <laughs> uh, I don't have any more Mozilla attacks. So, you know, I might need more uh, zoning units. Now that I'm looking at this. Like DOPS. I might want more DOPS. I'm down to 12 DOPS. That's not enough DOPS. I need more DOPS. 28 do die, because I sacrificed some in the attack on New York. Um, HLVs. Oh, I know, I might need HLVs too, because I got, um, Wichamon things coming. Zaku 2Cs in space to be used as fodder units in my Earth campaign. And they're gonna need transport down through the atmosphere. The only way I'll be able to get uh, Gato down too, unless I want to use a Kumsai, which I don't want to. I kind of want to find out if Kumsai's can get back into the air. Oh, I got Zanzibars! The 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 bows, the the Zanzibars. Where were they? Where are they? I didn't see those. Where did I? I I guess I sent them. Some, I guess I got that last turn. I don't remember. Okay. I hope they're on their way to somewhere. You can build Zanzibars. These things are crazy awesome. They got 570 hit points. They got all these weapons. They got four range mega particle cannons. I'm not sure if they can be used on ground. So now they can't attack ground units. That's poopy. Well, they kind of can. But poorly. Therefore, air and space. They maneuver better in space. According to this graph. They're, 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 they're crazy expensive. I guess I'll wait on building these until I get that money. Yeah. Yeah, you using six thousand resources will blow my chances of being able to sell resources for cash. So, Zanzibar's complete. But we need HOVs. 
How many HLVs do I need? HLVs can only hold six, and I'm getting more than six Zakatu Cs. Kinda wish I didn't have to build these in Odessa. Because I wanted to build full goof H H's in the production lines. But we need we need these. Uh, we need two. I don't have HLVs in Odessa, right? Pretty sure I don't. No. Okay, good. Not really. I wish I did have them. So I don't have to build them this turn. Where's the other two? Oh, the other. Oh, right. Makuve came down in one. How am I gonna get rid of this? How am I gonna get the Zaku R1 out of here? I'm gonna do some really lame finagling to do this. Just a pain in the ass. Alright, alright, so HLVs and then we'll build uh, Goof H's. Six, full stack. Oh man, that drained my resource resources a lot. <laughs> Helping. Okay, and then let's see how much, how many gods I can build in New York. Man, gods cost fourteen hundred resources to produce one. Holy shit! Red hair guy. Need your help. Go scrounge me up some resources. Sweet! Breaking into people's houses. <laughs> um That kinda of upset my populace, but unavoidable. Fourteen hundred resources. <sighs> Hate my life. Okay. So I'm gonna build one, two, three. Oh god! <laughs> Five. Should have sold that dumb. Then I would have been to produce another one. Anything I can sell. Anything I can sell. No. So the Kuve Kuf. Because someone forgot to upgrade it. Uh, Zaku 1 sells for 200. Desert Zaku sells for 471. I don't think exactly one, but it's not enough. Uh, uh. There's no other way to get resources. I want six gogs. Having five is worthless. Oh, but you know what? The sixth one is coming. From uh, side three, so I guess I guess I'm okay. Except those won't be upgraded. I was that that one won't be upgraded. So I gotta upgrade these fuckers. It's gonna cost me money. I'm gonna have zero money by the end of this. So I, kind of, I want them to be mobile. Flight types. 
I'm not gonna be able to I'm not gonna be able to fully upgrade both the Gog and the Goof Ages. Maybe I should just build Goof Ages this turn in, in New York. I should have I shouldn't have divided my production uh, to build two kinds. I should just build all of one kind. Would have saved me cash. Too late now. Alright, anyway. Get these, so at least they're 8 movement. There they go. Then we'll put uh, 1 into damage. Two went to damage. No, it's good. Let's do it up with the Gog too. The Gog needs to be mobile too to keep up with the Zod, the Zagax. Oh god, they cost so much. There we go. And just one point of damage. Fully upgraded, but they're upgraded some at least. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna manage my money better. Yeah, I shouldn't. I should just build Goovages in New York too, and just build Gogs next turn. Uh, dumb. Spended more money than I needed to. What's the plan? Wants to say, but look at look at my bank now. Empty. Empty, empty. Right here, guy. Go rob banks. Sweet! Look at this Balaclava already. So I love robbing banks for you, Garen Zabi. You tell me to rob. I shoot up banks. Right here, man, is not shooting up banks. He's just, you know, he's, he's got that, uh, that, uh, I don't know. He's got the license to go into any bank and just take money. Uh, it's gotta have, it's gotta be like the best job. It's like going into a bank for Red Hair Man is like walking into McDonald's and just ordering everything. Okay, so you know, I guess that's it. 53 minutes on production. Um, but you should be used to it. It's your 27th time. <laughs> uh, so well, next time we uh, we figure out what to do with this, we are going to kind of take a slight step back, slight lean back, and um, figure out what the hell was doing out here with these red dots. and uh, continue moving them to where I think I was moving them. And then I guess it'll be like uh, Earth and then attack phases and junk. Okay, see you then. Bye!